Hi everyone. Thank you for joining Parkinson Voice Project for today's online Speak Out Home practice session. My name is Samantha Allendary. I'm a speech language pathologist and the founder of Parkinson Voice Project. I'm here to help you establish and maintain a consistent Speak Out Home practice routine. If this is your first time practicing with us on our website, you'll notice there is a chat feature. Even if you don't like to chat, I do encourage you to go ahead and type in your name and where you're from. On the chat feature, it says type in your nickname. So put your just your first name and where you're from. I would put Samantha from Dallas. You do not need to create an account. You don't need to worry about a username and a password or any of that. At the end of the day, the chat messages disappear and it resets for the next day. We wanted to make it as easy as possible. But even if you're not going to type during the session, you will enjoy seeing the motivating pictures and the funny things that people post. I think it'll, it'll give you a lot of motivation. And we know that motivation is a challenge for people with Parkinson's. So just where it says type in your nickname, put in your first name and where you're from. It's also really neat to see where everybody's practicing from. Today's topic, Julie, my, one of my executive assistants, let me show you a picture. I think if y'all have been practicing a while, y'all have gotten to meet Julie. And it's really neat that even though we're doing these online and you may not have met her in person, you probably feel like you know her. So today's topic is all about celebrating Julie and her favorite actress. Does anybody know who her favorite actress is? Well, you'll find out in just a little bit. Let's go ahead and take a sip of water with intent. The first speak out exercise is the warm up. I want you to say every syllable and project it forward. The name of the program is called Speak out we're trying to get the voice away from here and project it forward ready may me my mo mo reach for that last syllable don't let it trail off let's do it again may me my mo the voice and project it forward. Let's do it again. May, me, my, mo, mo. This time, let's really stretch out the vowels. We'll use even more intent. May, me, Let's do it again. May me my mo mo. That is a lot harder when you stretch out the vowels. If you find the exercises are too simple for you, maybe you've been in our program for a long time. One way to make it a little bit more challenging is to stretch out the vowels. Let's all take a sip of water with intent. Speak out exercise number two, the ahs. Deliberately, purposefully open your mouth wide and project the ah up and forward. Ready? Uh, good. Let's do it again. Uh, you should never feel this in the back of your throat. It should never hurt 
to do an ah, uh, and if the sound is raspy, then that means something's not right. Try to project out a little bit more to make it clear. Let's do it again. Uh, cut it off at 10 seconds, no longer than 10 seconds. Less is okay, but not more. Let's do another one. Uh, good. Let's do a short one. This will be our last one for today. Uh, Let's take a sip of water with intent. We're doing everything with intent. We're done with the ahs. We're moving on to speak out exercise number three, the glides. Project out a steady ah and then slowly glide up. Ready? Uh, stop. Uh, good. Try to get all those little notes in there. Try to get as many little notes in there as you can. If you need to listen to me do one first, then do that. Here we go. Uh, let's do that again. Just up. Steady ah, uh, then glide up. Uh, good. Let's do it again. Steady ah, uh, then glide up. Ah, uh, good. Now, steady ah, uh, and then glide down. Ready? Ah, uh, keep the mouth open at the end and the sound is in front of you. Start high and glide down. Ah, uh, make it stronger, make the sound grow as you're gliding down. Start high. Ah, uh, good. Now let's do one whole sequence up and down. Here we go. This is our last one. Ah, uh, uh, very nice. Let's all take a sip of water with intent. Are you working hard on a scale of one to ten? What number are you at? After we do the counting, I'm going to show you this button that Gwen, one of our speech language pathologists here, found. And uh, y'all might be interested in ordering one of these. I'll, I'll show it to you after we do the counting. All right, we're counting to 20. Lift every number and speak out. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 
This is definitely harder. In the Speak Out workbook, the counting starts by you counting to 12. Then as you get stronger, you're counting to 16, and now we're counting to 20. It's amazing how much more challenging it is on the breath support to count five numbers in a row instead of three. Let's do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Don't let it trail off. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good. Let's go backwards. Start with 20. Lift every number. Ready? 20, 19, 18, 17, 16. Lots of energy. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And like I, I like to do this at every during every session, let's smile with intent. I'll hold up this card because they always need to get a picture of me for the recording of this session. Let's smile with intent for a second or two. Ready? We need to practice smiling. Take a sip of water. So Gwen in our office found this button on Amazon and Sandy or Elizabeth, whomever is monitoring today's session, will post the link. And you can record any message on this that you want. And this might help you in therapy. So Gwen recorded more intent. And during her Speak Out Therapy sessions, if the patient's best cue, the one that helps them the most is more intent, then she pushes it every time the person doesn't speak with intent. And it sounds like this. More intent. Let me do it again. More intent. Isn't that cool? Well, the cue for everybody to get their best voice is different for everybody. Most people who stutter or they talk too fast, usually, not always, but usually the best cue is speak out more. Same thing if somebody has a raspy, gravelly voice, speak out, okay? For some people, it's speak with intent or say every word with intent or be deliberate. During your one-on-one -on -one speak out therapy sessions, your speak out provider, your speech language pathologist will be determining what is the best cue. Instead of cueing you to sit up straight, take a deep breath, go louder, huh? What'd you say? We want your family to be giving you the very best cue. So include them in your therapy session. So this is pretty cool, isn't that? More intent. And you can change the message. So that's Gwen's voice on there. And uh, share this with your Speak Out providers. We'll be sharing it with them also. I think it could be a great tool in Speak Out therapy because a lot of patients are not aware when they're not speaking with intent. So they need a cue. And then you become more aware of it. The more we're pushing the button, the more you become aware and that will help you to incorporate intent into conversational speech. All right, today's session all about, everybody say her name with intent, Julie. Again, Julie, let's spell her name with intent. J-U-L-I-E. Again, don't let it trail off. 
J U L I E. And I know if you've been practicing with us for a while, you feel like you already know her. We're going to read each sentence twice, exaggerate the highlighted words. Here we go. Today is Julie's birthday. Again, today is Julie's birthday. Ready? Julie is one of Samantha's executive assistants. Again, Julie is one of Samantha's executive assistants. Now, I don't know if Julie can hear me because her office is right next door, but if she can hear me, I want her to come in to my office so that you can all tell her happy birthday. All right, did you hear that, Julie? Come into my office. All right, next sentence. Her favorite color is pink. Again, her favorite color is pink. Ready? Julie bakes beautiful cakes. She made a New Year's resolution to make up to 50 cakes in two years and she did it i think she's on cake 58. let's read it again julie bakes beautiful cakes and there's a picture of a cake she made for her sister's wedding and i'll show you the picture in just a moment but let's read this sentence she likes audrey hepburn movies Read it again with more intent. Ready? She likes Audrey Hepburn movies. And I just have to show you <laughs> which one is Julie and which one is Audrey Hepburn. She has fun every Halloween dressing up like Audrey. Sandy or Elizabeth, I don't think Julie heard me, so if you'll go ahead and find her in the clinic and have her come in. All right, next exercise, let's take a sip of water. Ah, she's here now. You know what? We're going to interrupt. Interrupt. I had to say that with intent. All right, here's Julie. Everybody, say happy birthday. Where oh, wait, which way am I going? Go to the right. To the, the right. left. To the left. left. It's opposite on the screen, yes. the side that I move. Julie, everybody say happy birthday, Julie. <laughs> happy birthday, Julie. Thank you. <laughs> Let's say it with more intent, like you really mean it. Ready? Happy birthday, Julie. <laughs> and Julie has the prettiest dresses. If you ever get to come to Dallas and visit our clinic, you need to come by and tour the clinic, but also see Julie wearing a beautiful dress. And today... Is a really pretty dress. I wish everybody could see all of it. And I like the tiara. You Gwen know. gave me this. Yes, because yes. she's a princess today. <laughs> it's her day. Yes. All right. Thank yes. you for coming in. Thank you. <laughs> all right. We're going back to our cognitive exercise. Make up a sentence using the word cake. Go ahead. Every single word with intent. Next one, make up a sentence using the word pink. Say every word with intent. All right, we're going to do Dr. Boone's words. Let's go ahead and do those each twice. Ready? Gula ga ga ga. Again. Gula ga ga ga. Next one. Kuka mangu ka. Again. Kuka mangu ka. Ready? Gangla. Gangla. And the last one. Kukla. Kukla. If you need some water, go ahead and take a sip. And we have a bonus reading. Here's the bell. And our bonus reading is about Audrey Hepburn. We're going to read it with intent. Here we go. 
Oh, I let, let me give everybody a chance. All right, we're going to read it and stretch out the highlighted words. Here we go. Audrey Hepburn was an actress, fashion icon, and philanthropist who was born in Belgium. At age 22, she starred in the Broadway production of Gigi. Two years later, she starred in the film Roman Holiday with Gregory Peck. In 1961, she set new fashion standards as Holly Golightly's in Breakfast at Tiffany. Go lightly, I think that is. Sorry about that. Start with Hepburn. Hepburn is one of the few actresses to win an Emmy, Tony, Grammy, and Academy Award. In her later years, acting took a back seat to her work on behalf of children. Let's read from Hepburn is one of, and this time, imagine you're introducing Audrey Hepburn at the Academy Awards, and your microphone went out. Start with Hepburn. Hepburn is one of the few actresses to win an Emmy, Tony, Grammy, and Academy Award. In her later years, acting took a back seat to her work on behalf of children. Thank you so much for joining me today. You can download the reading material, take what you learned in this session, practice, practice, practice. Also, please tell other people about these online Speak Out Home practice sessions. We have over 6 million people worldwide who have Parkinson's, at least, right? And 90% will struggle with their speech. We want to help everybody, so please tell your doctors, your therapist, make an announcement with intent during your boxing groups. Let's get more people practicing online. All right, thank you so much, and I will see you tomorrow.